Hey, what's going on? JD here, and I have a quick unboxing for you. Today, we are going to unbox the Oakley Aero 5 Road Helmet, an aerodynamic road helmet offering from Oakley. And as you can see from the box, it does offer MIPS protection or multi-directional impact protection system, which is a big deal in helmets these days. And in all honesty, I do recommend if you are getting a helmet, no matter what it is, that you select something with MIPS and we will get into why. Uh, you can kind of see on the, the box here, there's got a little bit of a diagram showing, uh, you know, the difference between red being a severe impact, green not being that. But let's just jump into this box and we will slide this guy out. So there you go the Oakley helmet itself. Uh, we've got a little bit of, you know, these good things, which are always good to keep to soak up water if you drop your phone. And underneath we have some stuff as well. So let's just kind of quickly jump into what we've got here for accessories. We'll dump that out. So we've got a nice Helmet bag, if you do happen to uh, go out, it's mesh on one side. You can see my hand through there. And, uh, you know, a nice material. Actually, very similar to if you do have Oakley glasses. It's the exact same material that they use to make their glasses case. So you're not going to be scratching up stuff. So that's super cool. Uh, we've got an Oakley sticker, which is always cool, especially in the 80s, to put on your truck. And then we have an X static band to uh, put on the front of the helmet. So this is the front sweat band. And this is kind of a cool thing as well. Uh, so these X static bands, they actually have silver interwoven uh, woven into the, the material. And the philosophy here is that uh, with your noble metals like silver, which they've woven in here, that it has actually antibacterial properties and will inhibit the growth of bacteria. So that's kind of cool. Cool. The other nice thing is, is that with this piece here, uh, and I hope there's one in the helmet, which there is, so it's an additional band. So if you do a lot of riding, the nice thing is, is that you can swap them out. I know myself that these get, uh, they get pretty sweaty at times. So, you know, it's nice to have that extra one. So what we're going to do now is take a look at the helmet itself. So we can see we've got uh, BOA, MIPS, and then we've got uh, Oakley, and then we've got the Ecstatic where it talks about the 99% silver you know, core fiber. So if we take a look in here, uh, what you can see is you can see the MIPS liner here, this little plastic liner. And what that does is that if you do happen to have an impact is that this shell will rotate a little bit on that liner. So you're not taking force directly. It will make it more of a glancing blow. They have found that it helps with things like concussions if you do happen to crash. Uh, we've got a nice thick liner here. And this is kind of the cool part here here uh, that I'm really excited about as well is that this has uh, a BOA dial uh, to tune in, you know, sort of the helmet fit. Uh, and it's a 360 system. So you can see that this wire goes all the way through and it will tighten and loosen based on where that dial is. So you can get a nice fit altogether. A lot of helmets that I've had in the past what will happen is that you will turn the dial and what it will do is kind of pull that forward and you're just kind of compressing to the front. There is no actual side. So this will hopefully be a nicer fit overall. And the other part is, is that generally speaking, uh, when you're looking at these things as well in the straps here, I've got them already twisted up, uh, is that, uh, this portion here generally has a piece of plastic in, and, and a lot of times when you are wearing glasses, and it's it's interesting because Oakley being an eyewear company would look at something like this, is a lot of times that this piece of plastic that will come off the back here will be competing for the same space uh, that your eyeglasses are. So, you know, when you are wearing your glasses, you are not always necessarily getting them right on your skin. And when you have glasses that, you know, usually have rubbery tips and stuff, 
stuff like that doesn't mean that they are going to sit perfectly well and this will actually alleviate some of that the other nice thing is here you can see we've got the Oakley logo it is reflective material uh, we also have that on the back and then a little on the front and you can see that uh, I have gone with size large because of my gigantic head if we look at the side and we look at the retaining straps a nice thin kind of material uh, we've got the nice Y adapters here, so this will sit nice and flat. A lot of helmets will tend to get twisted up in this area. We've got some nice O for Oakley treatment there as well. And then we've got the strap, and so same on both sides. Uh, if we look at the venting of this guy, we have some fairly aggressively large vents and a nice kind of intake scoop at the top so you know there should be relatively good airflow i mean there is a good part of the helmet that is not so i mean uh it's going to be hopefully relatively cool but you know to the same extent it's not well vented like you know you see a lot of other helmets that are you know almost purely ventilation uh you know oakley did some you know great testing as you would expect to kind of get the aerodynamics of this helmet down uh, so looking really, really sharp. And the nice thing about these vents here is that you can dock your sunglasses. Again, you know, you have a company like Oakley that deals primarily in eyewear. So, you know, having a place to dock your glasses is a good thing. So they'll just slide directly in there when you are climbing a hill, you know, hanging about. Uh, you don't want to get your glasses all sweated up. So they dock there quite nicely and, you know, Overall, I would say I am impressed. So we're going to pull out the scale. Uh, you're not going to be able to see the numbers directly, but let's get a general weight of this helmet. Again, this helmet is a large. So once we zero out there, we will put it on. And I suppose before I do that, we should cut off these tags to get, you know, an actual real weight. So I got the tags off, take that little piece of plastic out of there, maybe, there we go. And drop it down on the scale. So overall, this helmet is weighing in at 321 grams. So a nice lightweight helmet. So if you are looking for an aerodynamic helmet with some nice features, I think that, uh, you know, the Oakley is a great place to start. This guy retails at $250 US. You can pick it up, obviously, on the Oakley website or anybody that sells Oakley products. Let me know in the comments below, what are you riding? What do you think? Do you have the Oakley helmet? Is this something that you would be looking at or do you want something with a little more ventilation? So thanks for tuning in guys. As always, remember, smash that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, see ya.